Wait, do you want one of these? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you want a white mango, claw? Or there's yeah. one's a rosé sure. flavor. Uh, what's white claw? It's a hard Spiked seltzer. seltzer. Spiked seltzer. Yeah, that sounds great. I'll trade this in. Very for light. It's, it's got as much ca- it's uh, much too. alcohol as a beer. Oh, that's great. Super cold. All right, here so we I go. Have seven Wait, let me open this up. Do you have seven of them? Okay, let's do this fucking shit. Who's that? Sorry. Sorry, start it again. Sorry. Okay, let's do this fucking shit. Hey, motherfuckers. You know where you're at. You're on the Jerry and Diane show. This is Jerry, motherfucker. No, wait. (laughs) Ah, shit. All right, we'll start over. Okay, let's do this fucking shit. Hey, you fucking assholes. This is the Jerry and Susan show. I'm Jerry Sackamore. And I'm here with my sidekick, Susan Lickadick. And we got some fucking shit coming at you right here on the fucking crazy, crazy, crazy house. Yeah, motherfuckers. This is episode 69 of Crazy Town, starring Jerry Sycamore and Susan... Susan Lickadick. Lickadick. <laughs> and our guest this week is the fucking rockin', rock and rollin', always fucking token on that weed, Henry Phillips. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking big, heavy... Marijuana user over here, Henry Phillips. And seller, too, if anybody wants to. <laughs> yeah, baby! If you're a cop listening, it's too late, because this isn't live. Fucking cops. Fuck all cops! Am I right, everyone? <laughs> What's, What's up? up, man? Hey. How's it going? Good. How are you guys? What do you think of that intro? That was good. Do you do that every time? No, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing. I don't know. Trying out different... I mean, I kind of always have the same attitude, I think. It's the same kind of hard rock music. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. Uh, Royalty-free metal. There's a lot of good stuff out there. Is this the same song? No. Do you think you could play this, Henry? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but I won't play it free. <laughs> well, this is royalty-free. All right, um, this is uh, Jerry. Oh, we'll stop joking around. This is Jerry Sycamore. I'm here with Susan Lickadick. Mm-hmm. Hi. Uh, and Henry Phillips is our guest. It's funny because that name sounds like, it sounds like a joke. What, Susan? Um, I guess that's Susan's a... Susan's a pretty common... Well, I guess it's not as common anymore. I know what he's saying. saying. More he's the like, last like name. John. The like last name. Hey, Henry. Um, like he's saying, because you know how like... If you give a cop your fake a fake name, you're yeah. like, what's your name? You're like, uh, John. Right. So he's probably, that's what he's saying, right? Well, Susan but the last is, name, uh, too. What was it? Lickad- Lickadick? Lickadick. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's German. It's, it's a German, German? name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah it just sounds like you're saying, uh, like, lick a penis or whatever. I, I Maybe you guys didn't even think about that, but... Uh, I've never thought about that. Yeah. No one's ever I, said that I feel that like I'm, me. like, immature or something. Yeah. For I mean, it's kind of it, rude, too. No, like, especially when you have a name like Henry Phillips, like... I know. Oh, I know. what's what is it? Philip Henry or Henry like? Phillips. Two first names. Yeah. Two first weird. names. Fill lips with your cock. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've gotten fill it your all. ass lips. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I've gotten it all. Or like Hen, like Henry Hen. That's like a chicken. Yeah. Re, that's like Rhea Perlman. So what do you? Yeah. Half chicken, half Rhea Perlman from Cheers. Oh, uh, what's it like being married to Danny DeVito? Right. Chicken ass motherfucker. Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah, they're like, Philip, it's like, fill her up, because I'm going to drive a truckload of hens and Rhea Perlman mm-hmm. to go get fucking butt slammed by Danny DeVito. Oh, yeah, and the kids <laughs> always used to be like, you know, hen refills lips. Like, it's not enough to just do it once. He refills them. Oh, man, that's <laughs> like a good he's one. he's done filling the ass lips, and then he redoes it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, oh, kids are crazy. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Henry Ass Refill Lips and Susan Dickalick and uh, Lick a Dick. Oh, Susan Lick a Dick, and this is the old Jerry Brookhammer coming at you live. 
Uh, fuck Obama. <laughs> All right. Seriously, okay, first topic, okay? Um, yeah. Uh, Obama is from Kenya. True or false? True. That's right. <laughs> okay, next topic. Hold on, I have to find a ding, ding. Okay. Oh, so Henry was telling a, a, a story about a cheese. He wanted to get a cheesesteak on his way here. Yeah. There's a place, like, it's called, like, Philly's Best Cheesesteak. And that's in it's Burbank? It's not even in Philly, yeah, so it doesn't make sense. But um, it's, uh, it's, yeah, so I put it in the GPS and started talking on the phone and stuff. And so Who were you like, talking so to we, on the phone? I was talking to my buddy Wade. And we were talking about uh, that shoot that we did, uh, you and me. The uh, school shooting? The Henry's Kitchen thing. No. Come on. <laughs> and okay. uh, so, yeah, I just found myself uh, completely in downtown uh, North Hollywood and late. And, and it took me to some place called Best Philly's Cheesesteak or whatever. And it was all boarded up. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's, I was like, shit. That's my favorite part of the story is that it gets so cartoonish at the end where it's just like literally boarded yeah. up. Yeah. No, it's for not real. even open. Boards. Yeah. It's not only is it Why closed, it it's like GPS? condemned. It's yeah, like yeah. Fucking, it's all like uh, Every scary. Every place is. I don't know if you've had that, but it's like, there's so many places that are like, I'm totally into it for a year. And then I show up one time and it's just gone. Yeah. It sucks. Um, like what's another place like that? Well, um, a lot of restaurants, there was a place called the Phoenix. Uh, it was hot dogs and donuts, oh. which is a weird combo anyway, I guess. Amanda would eat a hot dog on a donut or I mean, For sure. Susan Dick, a li- lick a dick. <laughs> Susan lick a dick. Yeah. Yeah. And are you okay, Susan? I noticed that you, I'm uh, all right. I just got dumped. Oh shit. I've been crying all day. Oh, that's right. My boyfriend right. broke up with me. What was his name? Jeremy. Jeremy what? Spoke. Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner? Yeah, but not that Jeremy Renner, a different one. Oh. Yeah. What did this Jeremy Renner do? Um, he was a mixologist at a uh, bar. I know. Yeah. I mean, it's true, but he sucked. Mixologist at a bar? Mm-hmm. Is that just a bartender? Or? Yeah, but like the kind where they make really cool, weird drinks or whatever. Like it takes like 10 minutes fancy. to get your... It's like the difference between a barista and like a Denny's yeah. waitress or something, you know? <laughs> What's the yeah? Well, Denny's waitress, that's different because you're being She's a waitress. She's just pouring the coffee and giving it to you as opposed to a barista, like combines. They have like you know lab equipment that they use, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and but they only deal with coffee. See, a yeah. Denny's waitress is like that's a if you call barista a Denny's waitress, that's mm-hmm. actually a compliment because Denny's waitress does a, 10 times more things than a barista does. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I guess I One time I, got I mean, I'm them. sorry I keep putting everybody in their place. No, I know. Yeah, yeah you, you busted me like out of the way I am. Uh, I was going to say another place in my neighborhood that was boarded up was um, Sergey's uh, Philly Cheesesteak and Sushi. So another cheesesteak place? Yeah, and it was and like sushi? they had sushi, and it's by a guy named Sergey, which I think is <laughs> Russian. So it's like the whole thing was just ridiculous. And I showed up there one time, and it was just boarded up. What did you get from there? <laughs> so it's literally boarded up again? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's all boarded over up, the... and there was all graffiti everywhere. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it's all this Ber- Bernie Sanders graffiti stuff all over it. Check it out. Uh, it's in, uh, wait, Bernie Sanders stuff? Yeah. I, I guess it got tagged. By Bernie Bros? <laughs> by his campaign. That is something. true. The fucking Bernie Bros are out. <laughs> they do, like... Bernie Bros are the worst. Can I just... Uh, well, here. Let's, let's call this person real quick. All right. I just have a quick question. And I'll throw it out to the team here. Okay. Hope you know you guys can all talk too, if you want. Um, but we'll just get to the bottom of uh, of this here. Bottom of the barrel. Well, we'll just settle a bet. This is Nicole. How can I help you? Hey, Nicole. Um, this is uh, Brendan. I'm here with uh, Henry and Susan Lickadick, and uh, we're Bernie Bros. But we have a question. Uh, Henry was saying that, like, he was saying that baristas... Are you a barista? Yeah. <laughs> um, he was well, saying... I'm, I'm a supervisor, but I don't know if that counts. Oh, what's, uh, what's the difference? 
What's the difference between a super? You you still make the coffee? I though, mean, right? I still make the drinks. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Henry was insinuating that baristas are like better than Denny's waitresses <laughs> because he's like Denny's waitress just pours the coffee or whatever. But uh-huh. I'm saying this is no uh, don't no offense, but I think a Denny's waitress does a lot more than a barista, right? Because you just deal with coffee. Denny's waitresses have to do a lot more. I mean, we also have to deal with people who are um, angry in the morning and just want their coffee. We have to make the bagels. We have to make... You don't think um, Denny's waitresses deal with angry people? Well, Denny's is open 24 hours. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, this is... Uh, are. And so that's, Susan, I mean, we're almost 24 hours, you know? That's <laughs> We've been at um, 6 a.m. till 11 some oh days. God. Oh, man. I didn't well, know you were open that late. By my count, that's... Eight, that's 16 not, well, it's not hours? 24. It's yeah. 17 hours, that is. So, yeah, yeah, it's seven hours yeah. a pretty big difference. Uh, yeah, and then also, like, the closing task after could take like another hour, so we don't get out till like midnight. It takes uh, three hours for Denny's waitresses to clean up because it's because of the restrooms and uh, the there's uh, oh, yeah, and our messy. public restroom too is like. Awful. We don't want to clean that. <laughs> well, it's not. It's not a competition. I was just trying to prove. Uh, well, you no, made yeah, it a no. I mean, I haven't worked at Denny, so I can't say like I know what they have to do. You know, uh, Susan. You've heard of Susan Lickadick. She's uh, she's Hi. here. She just got dumped. Yeah, I've been crying all day. Aww. Yeah. Can you hear? Sorry. I've got the sniffles. <laughs> um. Yeah. yeah. She. Jeremy Renner was her boyfriend. Oh, who's that? He's, like in the Aven- he's in the Avengers movies, the guy who plays the one with the bow and arrow. Nobody knows. Oh, yes. Yeah, see, I don't even know, so it doesn't even matter, girl. You can move on up. Damn. She's never going to do better than that, though. Damn. She's never going to do better than that. He makes, like, $20 million a movie. There's so many actors. You live in L.A., girl. You'll find so- you find an app developer. They'll oh. make more money. Who? An app developer. I never thought of that. Oh, I thought you right. said it. Yeah. I thought you said an And then act- they're, smart. they're smarter. I thought <laughs> you said an active Yelper. <laughs> <laughs> no. There's a guy named Buck F. He does like pretty good. Uh... Yeah, his his picture is like of a baby or something. Yeah, like some old looking baby. Yelp reviews. He's a very active Yelper. <laughs> an app developer with a bow and arrow. That would be like amazing. Oh, that's Henry Phillips. Do you ever see Henry's Kitchen? Oh, no, no. No. What happened there? Everything, Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. Everything's okay. playing. It's, oh, Hold on, wait. We didn't mean for this to happen. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, some royalty-free. God damn it. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm sorry. This has never happened before. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. What did you push? I closed the window, and then it just, when I reopened it, it just played everything. <laughs> um, do you have any, uh, just one last question. Do you have any White Claw-based drinks there? No, we don't serve alcohol here. Oh, okay. Have you ever tried a White Claw? Um, no. Well, let me tell you, White Claw is, it's uh, crafted using their unique brew pure process and only the finest natural flavors to deliver a surge of pure refreshment and a hard seltzer like no other. White Claw, hard seltzer. You can find it at uh, a lot of grocery stores. Um... It's, uh, it's only 100 calories per serving and yeah. uh, two grams of sugar. That's where the alcohol is derived from. And if uh, they do, enc- they don't encourage this, but if you are underage, how are you over 21? Yeah, I'm 23. Okay, 23. So you can legally get it, but if, there's, uh, if you're underage, you can get an older person to buy it for you, and it's an easy drink. <laughs> It goes down real easy. It's not like trying to drink whiskey or something when you're 14. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I think, Henry, do you have any more questions? Uh, I just wanted her to know it says it's uh, right on the thing. It says not a significant source of total fat, saturated fat, or trans fat. So I just, if you need those things, you got to get them from some other drink. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> What's the best uh, drink? What, what was your name? Nicole. Oh, Nicole. What was, uh, what's the best drink you guys have there? Um, I really like the Midnight Mocha Cold Brew. Ugh. It's like a dark chocolate. No, no, thank brew. you. No, you know what's my favorite is the, <laughs> is the chocolate, the ice blended, pure chocolate. No coffee. Oh, yeah. It's it tastes like, like a milkshake. A, exactly. That's yeah. a good just straight shit. ahead coffee for me. 
Henry's a black. He drinks a black. Black coffee. Uh, yeah, black coffee. Is, I'm a purist. I no guess. sugar. Oh. No, don't yeah. like sugar. Did you ever That's hear good. that? Um, this is crazy. Did you ever hear of Kopi Luwak coffee, Nicole? Kopi, no. Kopi Luwak. It's uh, it's that coffee from I think the Himalayas. It's it's the way it's made is an animal eats the berries and poops them out. And then they roast the beans oh, from. Oh, I of think that. I've heard of that. Yeah, it's like the most expensive it's coffee in the be world. Like really good. Yeah. Well, there's a place that does this, and tell me, I don't know. My brother just started working at this place, but it's a coffee place, and they make that coffee. Oh, I have heard of that. But they have people eat the beans and poop them out. Ew. I have heard about that. <laughs> Is that yeah, legal? you can Google it. I think so, and they're saying what they're saying is like because they can it can be cheaper because that other stuff has to come from the Himalayas or wherever, and uh, but they're yeah. saying if they can make it here, it's cheaper because they don't have to ship it, and also they can since it's people eating the berries and pooping them out, then they can like adjust their diets to give the coffees different flavors. Like they'll only eat hazelnuts for like a day, yeah. and then it, it'll roast like a hazelnut yeah. coffee. And they can get oh um, is that too loud? Uh, she can turn it. Down. I can hear it totally oh. fine. Um, yeah, and then if uh, like if you wanted a ham flavored coffee, a guy could eat ham all day, <laughs> and then he poops it out and they roast it up. Mm. And Is there any like specific health benefits from it? Because then, like, what's the point? Well, they're here's what they're starting to do. They're getting uh, like models and stuff. Like, do you do you know that I think website? To answer your question, I think it tastes better, right? It Is tastes better. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it tastes better. Is the Bottom line, oh. uh, no pun intended. <laughs> bottom line, uh, but uh, here's what they're going to start doing, though, as a promotion. I think this is going to be a billion dollar idea. They're going to get famous, uh, sexy like celebrities to eat beans and poop oh them out. Oh my gosh! And be like, this is Ariana Grande's exactly, exactly. exactly. and it'll they'll charge like ten thousand dollars so for that smart. probably. Yeah. If you had but they to, first have to get the celebrities to agree to it. Well, because it'll be a gold mine. Did you ever? Are you familiar with Cameo, that app where you can get people to yeah. make a video? Well, that's what <laughs> yeah. it's going to be like, Cameo, but for celebrities pooping out your coffee beans. Cameo was Ew. also a rapper, right? Was Cameo ever a rapper, Nicole? I don't know. I, that sounds like a rapper I name. I think so. Yeah. Sounds like a rap name, yeah. right? If yeah. you okay, if you had to. Like, okay, so now this, this coffee company's doing the pooped out beans thing, right? Who would uh-huh. you who who would you want to whose coffee would you drink? Like any um, celebrity. Maybe like if I had to had to, um like Sean Mendez, Austin oh. Butler. Okay. Um maybe Harry Styles, but like he's kinda weird now, so maybe not. So like if someone uh, dared you or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Or but would not, you drink? Would you want to drink it? Yeah, if Sean Mendez shit out coffee beans and you could drink the coffee made from his shit, would you just well, it's drink not made it from happily? His shit. It just passed through his system. Oh, and then they how do they, they get the beans? They hose out? it off. Oh, yeah, and the beans are whole in like a strainer. Scary. <laughs> oh, I thought it was just their whole shit that they just. Ri- I don't know what they. They don't put. I don't think is that how they do it, Nicole? Do they put whole turds into the coffee maker? I don't think that's how they do it. <laughs> no. Well, I figured no. like the boiling water just sanitizes the shit or that's something. That's true. Even if there is poop on it, the boiling water yeah. probably. I don't know, cause then maybe that might ruin my chances with Sean Mendez. He knows I drink his like shit coffee. You know. Well, that's could true. Bring you closer together too. <laughs> maybe you'll be the only person to buy it. And Maybe only if he, like, feeds it to me when I wake up in bed next to him, you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> now we're That's talking. That's like fantasy. <laughs> Here, babe. Eating his shit beans. <laughs> yeah. I made this. Oh, yeah, but then he sees that you have a little piece of, like, something brown in your teeth, and he's like, what? Did you drink, uh, did you drink yeah, coffee? Yeah, yeah, then he's like, actually, bye. <laughs> yeah. That would suck. <laughs> that would suck. Then you'd end up like yeah. me. Yeah. Can then I just you, say, and yeah. I, I don't know if this is relevant or not, but uh, I read recently that apparently the Nazis in World War II that were stationed in uh, the Middle East, this is true, you can Google this, um, had a problem with dysentery. And the way that the locals told them that they uh, cure it is by eating camel poop. And so the Nazis were eating camel poop, and it, it actually worked. Oh. And then what happened years later, the scientists found out that what was curing them was a plant that the camels were eating that was like everywhere. <laughs> so they were like, we could have just been eating the plant <laughs> and we're eating the poop. 
pretty ridiculous. So you got to make sure that's not happening with this coffee situation. Yeah, yeah. if, if uh, somebody wanted to sell you guys some of those beans, would you be interested? Um, no. But do you have the authority to make that decision? Uh, no, they'd have to call corporate and yeah. set up a whole like thing. Talk to the buyer. Yeah, I've met those guys. Do a collaboration. That's a great, I mean, it, that sounds like if your coffee place was the only place that had like Derek or I don't know who's a, who's another famous Yeah, person. that's definitely Derek a very like niche Derek place. Either, but I, I think um, he's been retired for like a Definitely LA though. Oh. Yeah, like in LA, I mean, that's, this would be like the celebrity shit coffee capital of the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It'd have to be like West Hollywood or like Santa Monica or something. Yeah. And then like have celebrities like sponsor like you know, post on their Instagram and everything that they go That's there. Good ideas. Yeah, picture of them sitting on the toilet or whatever holding a coffee mug. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, like here's, brewing up here's a fresh batch. batch. 107. Yeah. Come and, and get it. And then on you know Tuesday. You know what else you could do is um if like if you wanted to prank your friend, like if like I have a friend who doesn't like Justin Bieber. Mm-hmm. And uh, I could make him like if Justin Bieber decides to make the coffee. I could yeah. make I could make my friend drink it and then mm-hmm. be like, guess what you just drank, bro? Justin Bieber is <laughs> Justin Bieber. <laughs> yeah, he just drank some Justin Bieber. And then Bieber. he would like is pour it Bieber or Bieber? on your shirt. Or maybe he would like thro- make himself vomit <laughs> or something. You never know. Yeah. Or he could get all in my face. I mean, I don't want to brag, but like I do MMA. Um, mm-hmm. You know, MM- are you familiar with UFC? And yeah. Well, he's starting. Yeah, he's at like the like lowest level. The coffee away when he throws it at you. Yeah. Well, I could yeah probably ground him, ground and pound him. <laughs> well. But they if should, you were, like, eight or I, th- I think they should have, like, a, an age limit, though, right? Or, like, you can't have little kids pooping. And, you know, like, Bieber's only, what, 16 or something, right? Oh, maybe. <laughs> um, like what about married. Billy Bobby he's Brown? 19, I think. <laughs> oh, do you think... You could would... do a whole Strangers, Stranger Things uh, edition. <laughs> for, like, Ooh, weirdos. Yeah, people would buy that for sure. <laughs> and it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't even... I would buy Demogorgon, Demogorgon poop coffee. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Those are the aliens. I've, yeah. I haven't watched. Do you think it would be illegal to drink Millie Bobby Brown poop coffee? Yeah, because she's underage. That might be weird. But, but I don't she's know what English. the laws are. Maybe it's different in England. Yeah, it depends on what the laws are. Yeah, yeah age of consent's yeah. like 13 or 14 in England. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll ask. I'll reach out Cons- to her people. But yeah, this isn't a consent issue. It's, it's about the difference. It's pooping, you know, so it's... What's going on over there, Nicole? Um, just someone trying to restock cups. Could you tell them to keep it down? (laughs) It's loud in our... They said keep it down, Vanessa. (laughs) What's... Okay. Okay. Is it just you and Vanessa there tonight? What was that? Is it just you and Vanessa there tonight? Oh, no, there's another guy, um, Xavier here, but... I think he's off in, like, 30 minutes. Which one do you like better, Xavier or Vanessa? Oh my gosh, you're going to make me pick a favorite? Vanessa? Well, you can tell me. They're not going to hear. <laughs> she picked Vanessa already. Is oh, this pick- like a podcast or a radio or something? It's, uh, you never know. Maybe you'll hear it Because I heard that, that ad deal that I'm not getting paid off of, you know? <laughs> well, um, what ad deal? <laughs> For White Claw. Oh, um, wait, are you talking about... Or you're just like really enthusiastic about it. We just oh. drink White Claw every day. You're talking about White yeah. Claw? The crafted, the word, yeah. Crafted, it's uh, 100 calories, all natural flavors. White Claw, crafted using only their unique, pure, pure, pure process and only the finest natural I'll flavors. You, I'll send you my address for my check. Not a single Okay. Source. Wait, Nicole, did you, go to Burroughs yeah. high, did you go to Burroughs High School? That's creepy. Yeah, I did. I went there, too. Back oh, in the really? Day. Yeah. Uh, I'm an alumnus. Okay. There you go. You, there you what go. year did you graduate? 2009. Oh. I know. I'm so old. I was a freshman. I'm almost 30. Maybe you Good bullied you. Nicole. No. That was nice. That was so nice. <laughs> That's uh, the year you moved to Los Angeles. Yeah. Yeah. Did I've lived here my whole life. Remember that? Yeah. Nicole, well, yeah, Nicole's lived here her whole life. Yeah, yeah that me too. came out in 2010. Yeah. Huh? Oh, 2009, beginning of 2009. Oh, okay. Wow. Do you usually work around this time, Nicole? Yeah. All right. Well, maybe we'll call you again next week or something. Yeah. We'll say hi. Yeah, we'll call and say hi. <laughs> Is Vanessa... Uh, hi. Okay, yeah. We've, 
We don't need to talk Thanks to Vanessa. Thanks for the shit talk. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay, I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Okay, bye. What? I don't. I didn't like where that ended. With well, you. I said I'll talk to you later. That means that Sounded I'll talk to you. Sounded kind of flirty. What's wrong yeah, with your it, there was something <laughs> happening. The tone of your voice, like I'll you were talk into to her. you later. Yeah, exactly. You can play it back. Do you guys want to see? Uh, yeah, I don't like that shit. Let me see. Hold on. I'll uh, <laughs> I'll play it back. Can you? Yeah. Hold on. Okay, I'll talk to you later. 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 Okay, I'll I don't remember. Oh, yeah, we were talking about the uh, Philly cheesesteaks. Oh, yeah. Oh, we talked about oh, yeah. Denny's waitresses. That's what made us call her. Oh, yeah. And, oh, about uh, my ex-boyfriend. I think she kind of confirmed what, what I was saying. They don't do as much. Yeah. She sounded like she had all defense. the time in the it world. It was nice of her to be like, I don't want to throw Denny's waitresses under the bus. You looked at me when I'm undressing. So <laughs> what that was it? her? Yeah, I don't even remember. I was sitting the here the person. whole time. I don't even remember her saying that. Well, you were you were fiddling with your headphones. The oh, whole that's time. right. <laughs> oh, all right, I was, I was come missing on. all this. What? Mm-hmm. Turn this off. Turn what off? I just wanted you to notice me. Just playing back my phone call, dude. You're like you. Uh, no uh, offense, but you've been a real bitch since you got dump, dumped by Jeremy Renner. Well, yeah, I've been crying all day. Uh, he used to hang out at Barney's Beanery all the time. Oh yeah. Yeah, chain smoking. Yeah. For real? Yeah, which made me really respect him. Well, I mean, I was a smoker back then, too, but uh, he was always like, yeah, man, it's a tough business. And I was like, did you ever get any gigs or anything, acting gigs? And he's like, nah, man, nothing. Been down here for five years, taking classes and stuff. He was from, like, Fresno or something. This was before he was famous? Yeah. You used to hang out. For real? Like, yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh, how funny. Henry's and, uh, hung one time out with he everyone. said something like, I got an audition tomorrow for this... It's called like the the hurt locker or something like that, and I was like, dude, don't even fucking go. It sounds like a piece of shit. And he's like, I probably should. I go, dude, let's do a shot right now. You and me, shot. Do you get him to do it? Uh, no. Nah, oh, he, so he sucks. He's a pussy. Yeah, exactly. It's like he could have stayed and just done shots all night. Instead, he goes to the stupid audition in the morning. Man. And look where he is now. I know. The he could have been loser. partying with us. But he's fucking lame though. I know. Because like it'd be partying. a cooler story if. He oh yeah. Out. He could have like it could have been a cool story about throwing up in the in the stall or something cool. You know? Instead, <laughs> yeah. it's like oh, he just theater. is in a movie. Like who's not in a movie in L.A.? You know. Uh, oh wait, we were gonna talk about. Wait, we were talking about the cheesesteak place and then all the places that you've been to that you liked. I yeah. think that's what we were talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. There's um. The cheesesteak and sushi place. Yeah. Oh, that. Place. And that's when you've called. Oh yes, yeah, cheesesteak and sushi. Nicole. Yeah, and there was also chores. Peanut, uh, peanuts and pancakes. Chores? Yeah. Wow. C-H-O-R. C-H-O-R, which I guess maybe is Chinese. Uh-huh. It's weird. It was a weird name, and they sold, like, peanuts and, like, uh, kettle corn and stuff like that, and then they also had pancakes. It's like, what, what are you doing? And then you, I, that place was closed even before I got there. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, it wasn't one of your Yeah, no, places. I mean, I, lo- I looked it up. And I was like, this looks awesome. And I showed up there, and uh, it's all boarded up, man. <laughs> Birdie broker feed? Crap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so this was like 2016 or something? Yeah, yeah. It was when Bernie uh, ran. Hey, yeah. can I have another White Claw? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, now yeah, we're talking. I was afraid that uh, Henry wouldn't even like White Claw. They're good. The mango one, I think, is my favorite so we're far. trying to get them. If anybody out there, well, I guess I'll figure Seriously. this out. Seriously. Well, no one's heard this yet. No one's heard this yet. <laughs> We also need to, uh, well, I guess we'll figure that out at some point. Uh, but we don't have a name for the podcast. Oh, yeah. Um, wait, a title for this episode or just for the whole, the whole thing? The whole thing. Really? Yeah, it's just a, I've been recording them to just figure it out, um, figure out how to use these microphones and stuff. I've had it here. Let me look and see if I have anything in my notes here. Is there a name I'll, generator? A lot of times I'll write down just random stuff. Um... Beware of false prophets. 
spelled with an F. Huh. Trying to make a, a like a social state. Oh, that's a good. Yeah, that's funny. But you know, people, that's too way too highbrow. <laughs> um, well, you'd have to explain it if you're doing it as comedy, right? Because you'd be like, "Beware of false prophets." <laughs> and I then, have a list of things to do. Maybe we can pull something from this. Yeah, I've got make okay. apron because I sell aprons. Oh yeah. <laughs> do you want to promote? Childproof me? my possessions. What's that all about? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, fix broken stuff. <laughs> Man, that's uh, a hell of a list. <laughs> that's not helpful at all. Have you ever just pulled out like your notes and started reading random shit? What else do we got here? Avgo Lamono. What's that? That mean? was a uh, a dish I made a couple of months ago. It's like Greek lemon soup. Oh yeah. If anybody uh, listen, if anybody is listening, which you're not, uh, Henry's Kitchen is on YouTube. And if you're not familiar with it already, which you probably are. Probably yep. Go to Henry's. Is it Henry? Do you have a website? Henry's Kitchen dot com. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, just go to YouTube and put in Henry's Kitchen. Yeah, and they're, um, they're funny, and you can sign up for his Patreon. That's the best. Yeah, Patreon slash Henry's Kitchen. And if you um, actually, if you uh, sign up for Patreon and donate a hundred dollars a month to Henry, he'll come to your house and cook you a meal. Yep. Every really? month. Yeah. <laughs> For a hundred bucks a month, would you do that? Uh, in the LA bucks area, a month? in the LA area, between like, we'll have to put boundaries on it. But if it was like a place that was less than a half hour drive, and it's just a hundred bucks a month flat, but I have to do a, a lot of different trips, or every month you go and cook the guy something. Oh, I do it once, once a month. Yeah. But what if there's? Oh, I guess you could go to a bunch of different places if there are like seven. Right, if you get if you get like ten people in the right boundaries, that's of like LA, ten thousand. You can make a grand, or is it a grand? Ten wait, people. Ten. If I did it ten days. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. So it's ten people, and they're a hundred dollars each. That's yeah. ten hundred, which is like ten thousand. Oh no, ten thousand is different. Oh wait, something like that. Oh, man, maybe it's a thousand. Math right. has always been my worst subject. I'm pretty good at math, actually. Yeah. Throw well, some either way, wizard. No, yeah, I mean. Uh, Either way, it's a lot. Have you guys seen these people doing this uh, this equation on Twitter and stuff? It's yeah, like I saw two it. times like two times two in parentheses. Two plus two. And you're supposed and to do the parentheses. Carry first. the one. Yeah. Do, do zero over here. Ten times. Ten times ten hundred, right? No, or it's ten, ten th- times one hundred. That's ten hundred, which is ten. I don't ten. think there's a ten hundred. I don't remember 10. It's got to be a 10 hundred. Well, I guess it makes sense. There's 900. Yeah. 1100. Yeah, of course there's 10 hundred. <laughs> <laughs> of course there is. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had a brain fart. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so 10 hundred so times. So if we can get 10 people to donate $100 a month to your Patreon, yeah. you'll go to each of their homes and make them. Yeah, they have food. to pay for the ingredients, I guess. You could make them fucking peanut butter. You could just show up yeah. and throw a peanut butter and jelly yeah. sandwich yeah, in a yeah. bag. Because if I'm lawn. going there buying like duck and stuff like that, and oh, like I mean, spaghetti, spending more money than it's getting. Well, me. yeah, that would be that wouldn't be a good. Well, but you see, but if you have all these people, are who's still doing calculations? Because this is I'm always nerves. calculating. Well, you got to stop because the right, noise is getting on my nerves. I can make lepen out of the mutard. At somebody's house. I don't think you're allowed to say that anymore. That's uh, <laughs> moutard. I don't think that's it's, uh, acceptable. That's not politically it's, correct. Uh, no, it's uh, it's French for mustard. It's it's mustard rabbit, basically. Okay. Oh, this could be a uh, podcast bonus. Yeah, I'll go you to your place a... and I'll I'll cook lapin à la moutard. And that's duck with mustard on it or something? Yeah, yeah. How much does duck cost? That's what we got to find out because I don't want to go out of pocket. Um but it's a French dish, and also it's hard. No, 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 what am I saying? It's not duck, it's rabbit. Oh. Rabbit. Which I, I think you have to go to the pet stores to get that. They don't sell it at the grocery no, store? No, So you have to buy a live rabbit? Yeah. What do you do for a uh, duck? Where do you get They have, the like, Petco, where they have these little cages, and you can get them there. But, um, the ducks? No, rabbits. Oh. But um, you can get all kinds of animals in these things. But... Uh, yeah, and it's it's just a regular dish, uh, kind of a mustard uh, sauce, mm. but it definitely is uh, it is for tarts. I have a question about Henry's Kitchen. Yeah, okay, are they actual recipes? Are they real recipes? 
Yeah, generally what will happen... And you don't have to answer anything you don't want to if she's going to try and... If it's incriminating. If it's gonna... No, no, you know, I mean, uh, I think these kinds of questions are important, even the tough ones, you know, and um, they are real recipes in that they're... Not to interrupt again, but is this a tough question? This, yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's <laughs> it's personal, but um, in the, insofar as a recipe is a list of ingredients and an order of operations, then right. yes, they are, are all recipes... They're usually variations of things that um, have either been handed down in my family or things that uh, I've tried to make before. Like my most recent one that you can check out is uh, in in the in the wake of this uh, this whole earthquake phenomenon that we've been having. We had a couple of earthquakes a month ago. I started thinking about how you can protect uh, yourself in case your fridge doesn't mm-hmm. work or some non perishable stuff. So. Okay. I made uh, onion vegan crackers, and uh, they're they last forever. Okay. And uh, yeah, there's like flax and uh, onion and stuff like that, and it's kind of based on how you make crackers. But I picked the ingredients based on what I thought would give you a well balanced, nutritious thing. It's got like fruits and vegetables with the onion. And tomatoes in there. <laughs> is it like a dry? Is it a dry? Is it like a cracker? Yeah, it's dehydrated. Yeah, so you you leave it in the oven for like <laughs> forty hours and get all the for liquid real? out of it. Yeah, is yeah. Is it safe to leave your oven on for that long? Yeah, and uh, and what's cool is I'm house sitting for a friend of mine. So what I did was I took because uh, they had these uh, triscuits, and so. Mm-hmm. You know, ordinary store-bought Triscuits, like, who wants that? Mm-hmm. So I took those, and I threw them away, and then I <laughs> replaced them with my vegan flax onion crackers. And that way, it'll be a nice little treat, you know, because they'll be, they'll have company over, and they'll be like, uh, you know, let's, let's have some crackers, and yeah. they'll open up, and they'll see my crackers in there, and be like, wow. There's fruits, vegetables, and onions in it? Uh, in yeah, flax? so let's see. Flax takes care of your, uh, your wheat... What what are the four food groups again? Wheat, fire. No, that's an element. Wheat and grains. But there are fire eaters. That's yeah, so you've got your oh. flax, onion and tomato is fruit and vegetables, right? Because mm-hmm. tomato, I think, is are, fruit. Is that the same thing? No, fruits and vegetables is the same food group, isn't it? Yeah, but you have to have both. It's it's two halves. Okay. So, and then uh, the other one is uh, meat. Mm, there's olive oil, so that's yeah. kind of from meat, right? And the idea is that, like, to prepare for an earthquake, just make a bunch of these or something? And yeah, them. and just have, you know, have them stored somewhere so that that way... And they don't go bad? If the shit goes down, like, where you have no electricity, no refrigerator and stuff like that, and you're just sitting there and you're <laughs> in the dark, at the very least, like, you'll have a cracker that you can, like, snack on and stuff. <laughs> help. <laughs> While you're waiting, you know, for the <laughs> yeah, like authorities to yeah. arrive. <laughs> yeah, how big are they? Like, is it are they regular? Yeah, so you um, or are they... yeah, so you can see in the video too. You score them, so you uh, you make little lines, and um, and you can kind of make them however much you want. But they're they're kind of the size of like those uh, saltine. No, nah, a little bigger. Um, Playing card. What are those crackers called? Like matzah or something like that. Yeah, um, yeah, like just a little bit bigger than that. Okay, and um, they taste good. Not really. Their uh, taste is not one of the things. But, you know, but it's you like they're, they're well balanced. Yeah. yeah. There's onion, tomato, there's uh, flax, there's <laughs> olive oil. <laughs> it's really, it's, it's just an essential, you know, ingredient. All right. That sounds good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you Thanks have a, asking, a family that. and you live in like an earthquake, Area, or I guess tornadoes it works for, too. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be an earthquake. Any, Pretty much any emergency. Um, so I urge people out car. there to check it out. Uh, yeah, you can have them in your car, you know. Um, we've all seen videos of, uh, you know, uh, people getting uh, in car wrecks and stuff like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> we've seen those, right? Like yeah. where somebody's in a car wreck and they're, you know, doing, they're on the phone going, I'm in a car wreck, I've got nothing to eat. It's, you know, it's like a survivalist <laughs> thing. How awesome would it be if they just pulled out? It's like, thank God I have all these crackers. That I <laughs> Instead made. of the phone? <laughs> yeah, calling yeah. For help. Yeah, exactly. See, I was thinking more of a scenario where, like, you don't have a phone. Like, you're in a wilderness or, like, in a snowy region where you crash off the road and then you're trapped 
in your car. Yeah. But then you don't have, and then no one sees you, and your legs pinned or something. So you got Ugh. just like the most dire. We can only. Well, there's literally like, nothing else you can eat. Then those are the crackers to eat. Yeah. Well, even if okay, let's say like even if you let's say you had other stuff too. Uh huh. Would you eat the other stuff or the crackers first? Um. Well, the crackers are non-perishable, so <laughs> you could probably wait. Use those last. Um, what other kind of foods would you have? I mean, I guess you, you have could some McDonald's have... or something in there. Yeah, McDonald's is pretty well sealed usually when they give it to you in those styrofoam things. Yeah, uh, that I don't think they go bad. That they never. I don't yeah. think they ever decompose. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's actually true. And then also. Um, they give you syrup, you know, with the McGriddles. So syrup is a natural, um, what do they call it? A uh, aphrodisiac disinfectant or whatever. <laughs> like <laughs> if you pour it on uh, your McGriddle. But what, what's the thing? I'm, preservative. It's oh, a natural okay. preservative. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can pour it on your wound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably would work. You probably could do that. It would seal it up or something. Yeah, and, you're, and if you get, um, I don't know if this is, proven but like if you start getting an infection like if you're trapped there for a while and you have a big gash on your leg or whatever mm -hmm. uh -huh. and it gets infected and you start getting like gangrene you could probably put the syrup on it which would attract insects which i think would eat the dead the flesh yeah that's too. what they used to do right they used to put leeches in there yeah to get i guess the bacteria out or whatever uh i don't know why they did that but that's that's true you can google that <laughs> So, <laughs> if you're at home. Uh, and when you Google it, too, always, um, this is just a little advice, just go for the first couple of ones that you Hello? see. Yeah, hey, I'm here with uh, Henry Phillips, Henry's Kitchen. You familiar? Um, I'm not offhand, but I don't normally uh, handle that stuff. Okay, Nate, well, he's going to cook. A... He's going to cook. He needs, what's the dish, Henry? He needs a rabbit. It's la I'm sorry? Lapin a la moutard. Lapin a la moutard, and he needs a rabbit? Um, this is a pet store. Yeah, but you sell rabbits, right? Um, uh, we don't sell whole rabbits, no. Oh, just, uh, oh so they're already, ones? like, sectioned off or whatever, or chopped up? Um, so there is some companies that do um, wholesale animal foods, so they will have, like, uh, half-packaged or full-packaged, oh, no, 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 dried or frozen. I, I'm talking about a rabbit. Like a live, yeah, so uh, or like, or just rabbit meat. Um, unfortunately, we only have the uh, full formulated meals for the frozen. Do you sell ducks? Uh, we're supply uh, duck, so um, we're a supply store. We can again sell the whole meat cuts um, if we get them from certain distributors. Otherwise, we have them in like the frozen patties. Well, do you know any pet stores that could sell Henry a rabbit so he can cook this uh, dish? A live rabbit. A live rabbit, or already like chopped up, I guess. But not like. To taste like dog food or whatever. Yeah. No, to eat. Uh, if you're looking for a, a human grade mu uh, meal supplement, yes. then you'd have to go to a butcher. Well, uh, a pet store is not going to suffice. But it's probably cheaper to get it at the pet store. They yeah. Don't, they don't have them. This is a very cruel conversation. I'm going to hang up yeah. now. They don't have them at the. <laughs> no, none of the butchers that I uh, was able to find have rabbit. Oh, really? It's really difficult to get. That's why I was thinking she might be able to help us but no dice huh i might have to bleep she got that mad out. for yeah. some reason well she said it was a cruel conversation which is like a real that makes you feel bad we'll call back and say we were just kidding okay we don't make it, we're not really going to cook but i mean that's what people do they buy live rabbits people are somebody's killing a cow right now as we speak exactly yeah gouging her eyes out maybe she needs to wake up it, it's a cruel world maybe that's what, instead of apologizing you you tell her that put no her i don't want to make i don't want to make her feel bad yeah. but. hello we're not really going to cook a rabbit. Uh, Susan Dicklick made me call you back because we didn't mean we didn't mean to make you feel bad. I appreciate the apology. Okay, well, but the, something that goes along with the apology is Susan. It, I mean, it is a cruel world when you think about it. People do buy live rabbits and then they they have to kill them and cook them. Yeah, it's part of some dogs' diets, especially if they have uh, severe allergies and cases. There's not every dog can eat every kind of meat. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. they do keep it like that, and they'll keep it like livestock. Well, Hen Henry was going to cook it for to eat himself. That's the. But we'll call a butcher. But we'll call a butcher. We just didn't want you to feel bad. We are, we're not going to get one Thank from the pet store. Yeah, we won't get one from the pet store. Have a good day. Store.
Good night. Have a good rest of your day. Okay, thanks. Bye -bye. You too. Good night. Bye. Okay. Bye. We're, we're gonna night. we're gonna kill a fucking rabbit. Well, when yeah, I mean, that bitch. Fucking bitch. Do you hear what I said to her? Yeah, dude. Did I you hear that? <laughs> like, I totally so, heard that. Run through the conversation. Well, she was, you know, you called to say, you know, whenever I want to apologize. And I was like, no, we're not going to apologize. You need to wake the fuck up. Yeah. It's a cruel world, bitch. That was fucking sick, dude, when you did that. I was going to drive down there and kick her fucking ass. You should still, maybe. Maybe I will. What was the place you called? Some pet store. Oh, oh I thought it was a particular place. Um, I'll find her. But yeah, I was, I was gonna say uh, on Google if you're gonna Google anything, because I know mm -hmm. we've brought it up a few times here. Uh, read maybe the first or the second result that you get, but don't read past that because then you get all this crap, you know. Like what? Which is the the first or the second ones um, are usually gonna be the correct ones. And then you'll get down to all these other ones, you know, like, uh -huh. you know, if, if you're trying to put in, for example. Correct. Like, oh, the, the results. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I don't remember what it was that we were going to Google earlier. Oh, yeah. Okay. The, like the leeches thing. You know? Okay. Yeah. Leeches. Or, or let's say if you want to put like, uh, does White Claw have trans fats or whatever. Okay. And uh, you put it in, you're going to see, um, you know, thousands of results. Does White Claw only have go trans for the first? Fats? Yeah. Only go for the first. Okay, so the first one, it's just uh, the calories, the nutrition facts. <clears throat> yeah, see, that's pretty good. Second one is nutrition facts for White Claw Raspberry Hard Seltzer. Third one is White Claw Hard Seltzer, Black Cherry Sparkling Water. Does it say sponsored or ad or anything like that? No, not on those. Oh, okay. Calorie chart is the fourth one. Fifth one, it's again, it's just the nutrition facts. Um, yeah, but see, what well, by the time you're down there, if it One's says just, facts, they're full of shit. I think so. Oh, absolutely. I never go past like the first three. <laughs> like, look up any issue. Okay. You know, Let's climate see. change. Maybe you're right. Okay, climate. Climate change. change. That's a good one. Yeah. Just Google climate change. <clears throat> okay. Climate change first. Okay. Now there's some. They have videos. Top stories. So I guess that's from the news. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I just think as a general rule, when you're looking into information about a subject, you want to, obviously you don't want to be reading from hundreds of different sources. And the way that Google prioritizes their results usually is so that the true ones are first and then it gets into the kind of crazy stuff later. So um, let's see, climate change, for example, the top result is from the International Panel on Climate Change. So that's probably Probably fine, yeah. And then climate, and then NASA is, uh, is the next one, climate.nasa.gov. Yeah, see? yeah, what's the third one? It's NASA again. Yeah, see now it's starting to get a little oh. bit iffy. And then there's the Guardian, that's the fourth one. Yeah, see. Fifth, sixth. That's where I'd be dropping Seventh. Off. Eighth is the New York Times, and then ninth is Wikipedia. Yeah, no. Well, anybody can edit Wikipedia. I'd be, yeah, yeah, so that's, that's true. Probably. Yeah, somebody put in there that my dad was a fluffer. A fluffer? Yeah. When did they put that in there? I don't know. A couple of years ago, um, somebody on Twitter said, "Hey, it says your dad's a fluffer," and uh, my guess is whoever it was that sent it was probably the one. Yeah, probably the one who oh, who yeah. edited it to say that. That's pretty good detective work, actually. Yeah, because otherwise, boy, what are they doing? So, like, uh, for example, somebody tweets to you, and they say, hey, your dad's Wikipedia page says that he's a fluffer, yeah. and then here's you. You're like, hmm. So I got one tweet about this. Someone just changed this. The person who tweeted this is probably the person who changed it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, synapses firing off, a lot of uh, connections being made with the various uh, parts of the brain, and that's just a healthy individual right there. Um, so, Susan, what do you just went to the bathroom. You, you I just have need... diarrhea from crying? I mean, yeah. Really? I was crying out of my butt. <laughs> they it that way. And diarrhea out of your eyes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you cried diarrhea... Okay, hmm, would you see. rather shit tears or cry diarrhea? 
Well, shit tears. That's not really. Do you mean cry diarrhea like yell diarrhea? No, like it comes like out he, of your eyes. Like the boy who cried wolf, the boy, the boy who cried <laughs> diarrhea. That's a good. That's a good story for the. Like, look, look! I I just made diarrhea, and they go and they and they have to check out his shit, but it's not diarrhea. Oh, I like he probably... just sprayed some Hershey's syrup on the ground yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely rather shit tears. Yeah. Right, good to know. What? Well, you didn't answer. I would probably cry diarrhea. That'd be kind of cool. Hmm. But it's like it runs down your cheeks. It's right next to your nose. <laughs> it could go in my mouth, I guess. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Totally. Yeah, like if you're really bawling your eyes out, definitely get diarrhea in your but mouth. But it'd be good for like a Stephen King movie or something. That yeah. Something good. to think about. Yeah. Um, and it might be something that a choice that you're going to have to make at some point, you know, and you have to have an answer ready. <laughs> better to got think of a, it now. Like a gun to your head. With a clear, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're like, okay, pick one. Have a giant hand. That's right. One giant hand or one smell small really bad. Foot. Oh. oh, yeah. Or one small foot. See, I try to just think of it like opposite, like yeah. flip it. A giant hand or a really small little foot. What would you rather do? That's what I'm thinking about. Hmm. I think. Uh, I'd probably get giant a small... Giant hand. Oh. Well, I'd, I'm going to... Okay. I'll I'm say, say giant... S- okay, you say small foot. I say small okay, foot. Okay, Henry, what's your choice? What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> so you, Wait, what is it? What you, you, which, which one would you rather have? Is it super... A small foot? <laughs> like a three-inch foot. Yeah, like, like a foot that's like, you know, like a little dinner roll or like a a hand, but it's big, like one of those foam fingers. Oh, that wow. They were, okay. That's your okay. hand. That's your real hand. Mm. But a small foot, that's kind of like a, it's kind of going after your masculinity there, right? It's only your, one. Your virility. Uh, but it would affect the way you walk, right? Well, here's why, this, this is, is one a... of the reasons why I chose big hand. Oh. It also affects your shoe buying. You have to buy two pairs of shoes. Oh, fuck that. No, I'm doing the hand. <laughs> Definitely doing yeah. the hand. You got to buy one baby shoe and one regular shoe. <laughs> and you're not going to find someone to trade with like opposite. Well, see, I would have to get my shoe. I would get my shoes custom made, so they're like it would be the same shoe, but one of them would have like filling in it or something to fill in the rest of my foot. That's actually a good idea. It would be and hard. And then no uh, one has to know. Right? No, that's a good idea. I'm using my fucking brain over here. It would be hard to be do to do um, one of my favorite sexual positions, which is finger banging, because if you've got a really big, a big hand, it's gonna mess it up. Why Which, don't you by just the use way, your uh, other hand because you have one regular hand too. Uh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. I should just use that one. But if it depends on if you're a lefty or whatever. I Did guess, I ever tell do you, you get to pick the hand <laughs> and the foot? Uh, because then you could. Just yeah, pick. you bet. Yeah. yeah, you should. Def- yeah. They should at least let you do that. <laughs> 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 I mean, come on. But uh, <laughs> you said your favorite sexual least... position is it's fingering. Finger yeah. yeah. Hey, old BW here. If you want to keep listening to that episode, there's more than 20 minutes extra available on patreon.com backslash world record podcast. $5 a month gets you all the extended episodes plus extra podcasts like voice memos with Amanda and the afternoon delight recordings. If you want to go over there, patreon.com world record podcast, donate $5 a month. You get to hear that stuff too. If you don't want to, that's fine. We're all friends. Enjoy the free episodes. I love you.